Today I'm here with Alejandro Reyes, who's the superintendent at Golf National, obviously holding the Ryder Cup in just eight months' time. Yeah. We're going to talk about some bunkers today. Uh, you've installed capillary concrete in all the bunkers on the, the Albatross, the main course. Uh, so we'll start with some, some questions. What were your problems before you bought capillary concrete in your bunkers? Well, uh, every time we had two main problems. Um, in our daily basis, every time after uh, a rain, a storm, or you know, we are in a very wet weather here, uh, bunkers didn't drain at all, and uh, we basically had to send ten guys, uh, ten green keepers with bombs, removing the bunkers, putting back all the sand, uh, making it look good and playable, and. Um, and just for receiving another rain in three days after, you know, so it was quite frustrating for the team. So, so we spent a lot of labor with the bunkers. And the second problem with, was uh, related with our tournament, uh, our French Open. Uh, my first tournament here was 2013, and uh, I did, um, um, how to say, uh, we sent a, a, a questions to, to, to us for, for the players that we were living on the rooms. Uh, just to 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 note uh, what they thought about the golf course, you know, all the different surfaces, uh, greens, fairways, tees, obviously bunkers, and uh, with a huge difference, playability wise, bunkers were the worst part of the golf course, right there. So we really knew we had an issue with the bunker. We had to do something. An issue starting from the sun, going through the drainage missing a liner, so okay. we wanted to solve it. Great. I mean, you talked a little bit about the washouts there. What results have you found that you've gained from having capillary concrete in your bunkers now? <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, uh, 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 it was on Friday this year of the French Open. We had a, a huge thunderstorm. Uh, it was raining so much that uh, we had to stop uh, playing. That was by 3 o'clock. Um, it was raining 10 minutes, non-stop, uh, like a curtain of water. Uh, we sent out the, 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 the team, uh, you know, with the squeegees, uh, ready to raid the bunkers, ready to put the, the, the course back in play as soon as possible, because we really want to, 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 to finish that day uh, and to don't have a shotgun start on, on, on Saturday morning, which is really, really bad for us. Um, we even didn't raid the bunkers. Nothing to do. Tournament directors say these bunkers are perfect, you know. So we were squeaking fairways. I must say we spent a lot of time drainaging the fairways. It went really, really quick as well. But it, we even saw we had some puddles. And our bunkers, not even a shave or nothing. They were ready to play, ready for continue at European Tour level. Okay, fantastic. If some random person from a golf club phoned you up looking for advice, and they said to you, why should I buy capillary concrete for my bunker liners? What would you tell them? They're yeah, gonna say, a lot of time, stress, uh, long-term money, uh, your, your, your clients are gonna be very pleased of playing on those bunkers, because they're gonna, be, they're, they're gonna be much more uniform, they're gonna have consistency, and if you have a tournament, a big tournament like is our case uh, with our, I'm not talking about the Ryder Cup, eh? our French Open, our senior French Open, you have to have it. You have to have it. And why, if there was someone who was sitting on the fence, uh, another golf course manager or another, uh, the manager of the golf course himself, if they were on the fence, why would you recommend them to choose this liner? Why would you choose capillary concrete? Uh, basically, for me, two two reasons. Uh, uh, the first one was playability, which means um, uh, the capillarity forces is gonna keep the sun uh, wet for more time through the day, and uh, that's, that 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 means finally that that your that you're gonna, you're gonna have less balls plugging on your bunker, which is fantastic. Which is you know one of the main problem of the bunker liners is that the sun gets too dry. Capillary concrete is the one that, that gets less dry, which is, which is great. 
Eh? And the and the second and the second one and the second one because it's last, you know, because it's concrete, because you're gonna put it in there, and uh, and uh, it's a really really hard and strong material. So. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna combine two questions into one here. We touched on this earlier, so if you can tell me again or reiterate, what was life like before capillary concrete, and what's life like now as a superintendent that you have capillary concrete in your bunkers? So basically, uh, um, before yesterday, we have 25 millimeters of rain. Here it's winter, it's raining you know, quite often. And you just come in the morning and uh, you don't need to think to send anybody to, to, to do the bunkers, maybe just to do the, the, the footprints, just one guy to do the checkup, you know. Uh, without, you need to plan to send at least, at least eight guys. Which makes all the difference, no? That's all. Okay, perfect. 